The iPhone SE 4 is going to be getting a pretty big upgrade, but also it might get a price increase. So right now it's at $429, and Apple's apparent intention is to keep the phone priced to below $500. So we're looking at maybe around a 10% increase. And so that could put the latest model at around $479. Now, again, the iPhone SE should be getting a pretty massive redesign considering what it is now and what we're hearing about the leaked features and rumors surrounding this device. So the price increase might actually be a little bit justified. The design is said to be similar to the standard iPhone 14, which means Touch ID and the home button, that'll be gone in favor of Face ID and a little notch at the top. With the iPhone 15 lineup, Apple transitioned to USB-C instead of Lightning, and the iPhone SE 4 is also expected to include a USB-C port. While the iPhone 14 has a dual lens camera, the SE will include that single lens camera to keep costs down, but it could have a 48 megapixel main lens used in the iPhone 15, which is honestly all you really need, I might argue, for most people. Apple may also add a multi-function action button to the iPhone SE replacing the mute switch. An action button first came to the iPhone 15 Pro models, but by the time the SE 4 is ready to launch, it's a feature that will be available on all of Apple's flagship devices. Now, when it comes to the display, we should expect a pretty big jump from 4.7 inches to 6.1, and it also might get the OLED display that Apple's been using since the iPhone 12. Currently, we're using this old, not even really 1080 LCD display, and so that should be a huge upgrade. As I mentioned before, there's going to be a notch, so no dynamic island. Uh, there have been some sketchy rumors saying that we might get dynamic island, but I don't really think that's going to be the case. I think it's going to be like the iPhone 14. As far as chip and performance, users should expect to see the previous generation chip inside of the iPhone SE whenever it launches. So we're looking at spring of 2025. That means you're looking at the iPhone 15 chip, which is the A16 Bionic. And so that's what I would probably expect to be inside of the iPhone SE 4 should still continue to see 5G support and will probably get an upgraded chip to support more bands, which is always nice. And the battery is rumored to be pretty much the same as the iPhone 14, which is a 3,279 milliamp hour battery. And that's pretty much all we know and right now expect to see for the iPhone SE 4. It seems like a pretty massive update when you compare it to the current iPhone SE 3. And if you are a current user, I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. Again, as of right now, we're expecting a launch for uh, spring of 2025. Things could change, but that seems like a pretty solid phone in my opinion. Just kind of feels like a repackaged iPhone 14. Uh, but under $500, especially if Apple's able to keep it at that $429 current price point, that's a pretty good recommendation for most people out there. But if you're somebody who uses the iPhone SE 3 because of that 4.7 inch size, it's the only phone that is in that size. Everything else is six inches or bigger. And this is going to be following that trend. Are you going to be upset? Maybe go to somewhere else where there's a smaller phone option available. Again, I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.